I just want to make a short little video on one of my favorite content creators, Jimmy Boy Jessica Sterling. I'm James Stephanie Sterling. Oh my bad, Stephanie. Like, if you're gonna transition to a female, like, could you at least pick, like, a less generic name? That'd be lovely. Why is your friend this fucking ignorant, dude? They're really tall. But yeah, if you don't know what this thing is, he's some dog shit gaming related channel and built up pretty much his entire fan base off nearly a million subscribers by saying EA bad, loot box bad, company who wants to make money bad for putting microtransactions in a game and the fan base and the players of the game enjoy the game and, you know, buys those microtransactions. So he's essentially somebody like Young, yeah, or any other dipshit loot box bad retard who complains over what another man spends their own money on and wants regulation within the gaming world, you know, through the government, because, you know, grown-ass men are not capable of spending their own money on what they want. Like, fuck off, you absolute fucking clown. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is that Disney Channel looking intro? Holy shit, that is bad. <laughs> My guy has some like serious drip on right here. <laughs> He's got on like a hat from the Great Depression, a black looking trench coat that looks like it, you know, it's made out of actual trash bags, some gloves, and to top it off with his fat ass, we got a oversized tie. Like the fact that this man, this thing, this Stephanie, looked himself in the mirror wearing that and thought that was something acceptable to wear in the year 2021 is absolutely sad. <laughs> no, but remember how I said this man gets up in his feelings over other fully grown men spending money on loot boxes and video games, alright? We're talking about people, fully grown men, spending money on loot boxes, alright? <laughs> He's now also triggered that the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's donated his money to some Christian conservative. I mean, who saw that coming, alright? Like, imagine being a fully grown man, midlife crisis, changing your gender, and being upset over another man giving his money to someone who you don't agree with with politically. That's just fucking pitiful right there. Uh, who doesn't love religion? Hi there, I'm life? James Stephanie Sterling and today okay. we're going to talk about Save belief systems. Computer. Belief systems sound amazing. I don't really have one. I only... I mean, yeah, who doesn't love religion? It's not like over half the population on the entire planet Earth is religious, you know? <laughs> who doesn't love religion? Hi there, I'm James Stephanie Sterling and today we're going to talk about belief systems. Oh, today we're going to be talking about belief systems? Wow, bro. I thought we were going to be talking about, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's, you know, considering that's what the fucking video is called. But no, no. I, we're going to be talking about belief systems today. You know, like, isn't that funny, though? Like, like this motherfucker wants everybody to accept the fact, you know, that he's you know, he's a that he's a woman now. He transitioned, you know, he, he was just a female in a man's body all his life. He wants you to accept him for that. But, you know, the, the, the funny part part about it is he doesn't want you know he can't accept you for who you are if you don't agree with him so if you if you your beliefs oppose his well fuck you then <laughs> like like i just like these types of people are just so fucking brain dead it's not even funny like this motherfucker is supposed to be a gaming relating a gaming related channel the fact that he's getting all political and you know abc community and all this shit and trying to preach to his fucking audience bro nobody gives a shit belief systems sound amazing i don't really have one yeah belief systems sound pretty amazing because everybody has one including you you fucking dipshit yeah i i, I you guys i don't really have a belief system system you know it's not like i'm trying to preach to you guys about lgbt and abc shit you know i don't have a fucking belief yes you do shut the fuck up systems that they're pretty good actually from what i gather you can do anything to anyone so long as you excuse it by saying well it's just what i believe there is a difference between, you know, believing in something and having, you know, morals or, you know, a belief system or being religious and actually, you know, committing crimes or, you know, actually doing something physical, all right, you fucking idiot. So the next time a gay kid is thrown out onto the street having been disowned by their parents... Bro, when has this ever happened? Like, honestly, bro. What parents are going to just throw their kids out because they're fucking gay? Like, do you have any sources for this? When does this ever happen? Like, honestly, yeah, may maybe like a hundred fucking years ago, sure. But like today, yeah, I got to press X to doubt on that shit. Scott Cawthon sucks. 
and I say that at the risk of pissing off his creepy cult of personality. His fan base already hates me despite being a direct inspiration for the Five Nights at Freddy's series with my criticism of his earlier title, Chipper and Sons Lumber Company. Yeah, 100%. No doubt in my mind that you, you know, the fact that you criticize the game, you know, <laughs> you're responsible, you know, for, you know, him improving and actually making Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, how can this motherfucker be this stupid, bro? Like, I have lost so many brain cells already ready bro like holy shit this guy is a fucking clown oh my god bro i can't fucking do this shit anymore oh yeah also just one little extra thing you know just for the cherry on top like i believe this motherfucker hit 900k subs <laughs> and like he, he literally has been losing subs for like an entire year now because of like his preachy bullshit and you know him you know transitioning to a fucking female and he's really blaming it on you know people being transphobic you know people just you know he's so fucking oppressed you know even though in the year 2021 you know lgbt abc you know gay people they have more rights than fucking ever before like but not you know he, he just wants to always be a victim you know he just wants to be entitled to fucking everything and i hate that type of fucking mentality i hate people who fucking think like that